Chapter 14 Now the Passover and the festival of unleavened bread was two days later. And the chief priests and the scribes were looking for a way to seize him by cunning and kill him. For they were saying, Not at the festival. Perhaps there might be an uproar of the people. And Judas Iscariot, one of the twelve, went off to the chief priests in order to betray him to them. When they heard it, they were delighted and promised to give him silver money. So he began seeking an opportunity to betray him. Chapter 26 Now when Jesus had finished saying all these things, he said to his disciples, You know that two days from now the Passover takes place, and the Son of Man will be handed over to be executed on the stake. Then the chief priests and the elders of the people gathered in the courtyard of the high priest, who was named Caiaphas, and they conspired together to seize Jesus by cunning and to kill him. However, they were saying, Not at the festival, so that there may not be an uproar among the people. Then one of the twelve, the one called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, what will you give me to betray him to you? They stipulated to him thirty silver pieces. So from then on, he kept looking for a good opportunity to betray him.